entrepreneurship is, it's a pretty monumental task. It is not for the weak. I know sometimes we look at the stories that people post on social media and we see people on the beach and we see their little toes, their manicured toes in the sand with their laptops. And it looks like this is just all so easy. And yes, we, it does often give us that freedom to be able to do things that a traditional job may not. Yes, I have been on the beach with my toes in the sand and my laptop working from there. I've done that. But then you don't always see the long nights and the tears and the other things that we, we deal with as we are working to launch and grow our businesses. And when you don't have people around you who support that, uh, who really get it, it can be even more stressful than it has to be. And that's one of the reasons that we started Startup Life Support. And most of you here tonight are members, uh, but as you know, this is uh, a session that is open to everyone. And so I know everyone here is not a member. So I just wanna take just a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about Startup Life Support. And this is a community that I started in 2017 to give you that, that safe place to be able to come to, to be able to talk about the challenges, to be able to celebrate your wins with people who truly get it, and to be able to get out of that isolation, that interior bubble that a lot of us live in where we're trying to figure things out, where it's if, it, if the answer doesn't exist in our own head or pop up in a Google search in that first five minutes, we just kind of stay stuck in it. But through Startup Life Support, you have a place to come twice a month to be able to say, hey, help me figure this out. Or there's this wonderful opportunity that I have in front of me, help me figure out how to take advantage of this. And so it really does give us that clarity around what are the things that, what do I want, number one, in my business? Not what do other people say I should do or should have, but what do I want? And then how to then develop those plans to get what we want. And then we know sometimes we don't always have the confidence to ask for the things that we want, to walk into the rooms where the answers or the money or whatever other resources that we have may be. Sometimes we're playing those old recordings in our head that may have come from our parents or our teachers or some crazy old boss that made us think that this may not be cut, you know, we may not be cut out for this. And so we're able to identify that stuff and uproot it and replace it with the things that are really going to allow us to build the business of our dreams. And that looks different for everybody. So when people join Startup Life Support, some of the common challenges that we hear them facing is, you know, number one is just balancing running the business, starting the business with everything else going on in their lives. We have members that, you know, have children, that are taking care of aging parents, that have full-time jobs. In fact, the majority of our members actually uh, have full-time jobs. And so there are a lot of hats that we all wear. And so even though, but I'll tell you this, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, if I didn't have this other responsibility, I would have so much more time to work on my business and things would be so much different. And that's not always true either because a lot of times the task expands to fill the time allotted. So having just a little bit of time sometimes actually makes you more productive. Uh, a lack of accountability is often there because when we have a job, there are things that we have to get done. And we have this little thing called a performance review that will hold you accountable to doing what you need to do, or we wanna get that bonus, or we just wanna keep the job. <laughs> but when you're the boss, and if you don't do what you said you're going to do, there's nobody there. There are no consequences that it may seem today, but the consequences do exist. And so we want to be able to support each other and hold each other accountable to doing what we say we're going to do. And then also one of the things that I, I really wanna emphasize is we are not a part of this hustle culture, like team no sleep. Mm -mm, I'm not about that life. I need my seven hours at least every night. 
I believe in enjoying the people that I love. I believe in laying on the couch at least one evening a, a week and just doing nothing but vegging out and watching Netflix. And so that like working nonstop does not equal success to me. And so I don't want anybody, it, there are some people that works for, and if it does, do you. But, but if it isn't, if that isn't attractive to you, know that that is not the only way to be successful. It may take you a little longer than it takes those workaholic people, but it doesn't have to be that way. And so we constantly remind people, we don't have to kill, remind each other, we don't have to kill ourselves trying to do it either. So what does startup life support look like if you're not a member you've never participated? Uh, we have our mastermind sessions on the first and third Thursday of every month for 90 minutes. It's very intimate. So even though we may start out in a bigger group, you're going to break out into a group of about four people or so to have a more intimate conversation. So this is an introvert's dream. Like you don't have to worry about being in this big old group and having to share a whole lot of stuff in front of all of these people uh, because you will will uh, be able to do it more intimately. And, I, and I'm, I'm sure that the people who are here who are members will tell you that Startup Life Support is really like a family. Um, it's not a matter of coming and trying to impress anybody or you know, acting like you have it all together, we can take the mask off, we can pull the tissues out if you need to and be real about what's going on. Uh, but it's not all bad either because we celebrate each other when we're winning. So that is our, our normal thing. We have our masterminds twice a month, uh, two or three times a year, uh, we will read a book. That's an optional activity if you'd like to participate. And then twice a year, we also do business planning retreats that uh, help to make sure that we're focusing on the right goals that align what we say we want and that our activities, those daily, weekly, monthly activities are really, uh, we're doing the things that are gonna get us there. And then of course we have our private online community. Um, and before you get out of a session, like we will ask you, what do you wanna be held accountable to accomplishing in the next 30 days? And you're going to get some follow-up. <laughs> so you don't just put it out there and run away. You're going to get some follow-up there. So as we wrap up, I just want to share that, you know, we've worked really hard to keep startup life support affordable. Because I know there were times when I was just getting started, I did not have resources to hire a coach to work with me one-on-one, -on -one. but I still needed help. I still needed support. I still needed community. And so uh, normally it's 350 for an entire year. Now you normally cannot be a part of a mastermind for 350 a month. That's usually, you see Connie shaking her head. And she's, she's been a, a part of a number of masterminds. I have too, and we paid a lot of money to be a part of them. So 350 a year is what it typically is. Uh, but if you are not a member already and you would like to join Startup Life Support tonight, it is $200 for the whole year. You're gonna save $150. And if you need to break that up, we do even have the option of breaking that up into four payments. So if you're interested in that, you can go to startuplifesupport.com um, and if you go to there, you'll just, you'll see at the, the top of the menu, you can click join uh, and you can join right there. We'll follow up with you, give you everything that you need to get started. Uh, but as you walk away tonight, whether you join Startup Life Support or not, I want you to know that you can do this. You can win at entrepreneurship. It is not going to happen overnight. Everything is not going to go right all the time. And that's okay. And so when we know that, and we know that this is a part of this journey, then we can just accept that as what it is. People don't go off to medical school and expect that, oh, this is going to be easy. No, you know becoming a doctor is challenging, and you do it anyway, because the rewards are there, if that's what you truly want to do. And entrepreneurship isn't always easy, but we do it anyway, because our hearts are in it, and we know that the rewards will be there if we don't give up. 